my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lisa, also known as La Dolce Lisa, and today I'm going to be making a true dolce or dessert because I'm going to show you how I make my Italian bombe or bombolone. That is basically just an Italian style filled yeast donut. These are absolutely delicious and what makes these so special just on time for this beautiful fall weather we're having here, it will be stuffed with a pumpkin mascarpone filling. So they're going to be so good. They're basically going to be pumpkin spice stuffed donuts. How good does that sound? And on the outside, instead of coating them in just regular sugar, I'm going to be coating them in a cinnamon sugar. So without further ado, let's get started and let's make these delicious pumpkin mascarpone stuffed bomboloni. First things first, we are going to need basically a starter to activate this dough. So I have some active dry yeast. You can use one package or you can use two teaspoons and one quarter of a teaspoon. And we're going to add this to warm milk along with one tablespoon of sugar, so white sugar. Now your milk should not reach more than 35 degrees Celsius. So I find 30 seconds in the microwave is the trick. So I'm adding the sugar and I added the active dry yeast to this three quarters of a cup of warm milk. Now this needs to start bubbling. So we need to put this away for about 10 minutes and in 10 minutes, this should be nice and bubbly and ready to go. Okay, so while we are waiting for that yeast to activate. Right now I'm going to be starting with the flour. So we need four cups of all-purpose flour and what I'm going to be doing is just putting this right into my KitchenAid stand mixer and it has the dough hook attachment on which is what we're going to be needing. I also have a quarter of a cup of sugar. I'm just going to toss that right into the mix as well. I also have a teaspoon of salt so right into the KitchenAid. And I have two large eggs. To these two large eggs, I'm just going to be adding some extracts because why not? So you can add vanilla, you can add rum, you can really add any extract of your choice. I just figured that I would add a bit of both. Half a tablespoon of rum extract, half a tablespoon of vanilla extract. And for later, when we need it, I have room temperature unsalted butter. This is one third of a cup and it is just cubed right here. So we are going to be adding that at the very last second. So these wet ingredients, I'm just gonna keep them aside for now. And with the dry ingredients, I'm gonna give them a quick mix with a, just a spoon. So now with the vanilla and rum extract in my two eggs, I'm just gonna give this a quick mix to incorporate. And what I wanna mention is that the eggs are room temperature, the butter is room temperature, and the milk, of course, was warmed to be about 30 degrees Celsius. It's really important to be working with room temperature or warm ingredients when making this bomboloni dough. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes. This active dry yeast is now bubbling, so it is absolutely perfect to use right now. If your yeast does not activate, do not try to use this in these donuts. You might have to start over. So I'm just going to be adding these eggs and extracts right into this mix, along with the most important ingredient, this milk sugar active dry yeast mixture. It's going right into the KitchenAid. Now with all the ingredients inside this stand mixer, except for of course the butter that comes later, we are going to be giving this a whip at about a medium to low speed, probably like a two or a three, letting this mix for about three minutes. So now that my dough has basically formed into sort of like a dough ball, it's starting to climb up the hook a little bit. What I'm going to be doing now is adding about a tablespoon or so of butter at a time and letting that incorporate. The whole process now should take about another three minutes of mixing. Once the butter is in, you can decrease it from a level three or four to a level two and let this go for about another one to two minutes. And basically what happens in that time is that it will reform into another ball, but it will look a little bit more solid and shiny after. So with clean hands, remove the dough hook and take this nice amount of dough that should be easy enough to handle. It shouldn't be overly sticky and add this to a nice clean bowl. Now that the dough is a nice clean bowl, we are going to cover this with cling wrap or plastic wrap and a cloth on the top. 
And now we are going to leave this in a warm spot. Because I'm not making this in the hot summer, it's a little bit chilly here right now, I'm going to be popping this in the warmest spot, which is usually my microwave. A good tip is to heat up a, maybe a cup of water or so in the microwave for about 30 seconds to a minute. Leave that nice steaming water in there with this dough. And we are going to be leaving that together just in the microwave and letting this rise. This should probably double in size, which will take about an hour to two. But in the meantime, we are going to be making the filling for these donuts since we do have at least an hour on our hands. Since I have time, I'm going to be making the filling right now. So here's what you'll need. You need exactly one tub of mascarpone cheese. This is 475 grams. So I'm putting that right into this stand mixer with the paddle attachment. You've probably seen me use mascarpone before, but if you forgot, mascarpone is essentially like an Italian cream cheese. It's just not as cheesy. It tastes almost more creamy. So it's really good in a nice filling. And now with the mascarpone cheese in there, let's just give that a quick mix to loosen it up a bit. I feel so bad for Luna because when the KitchenAid is on, she absolutely hates that. Okay, so to the mascarpone that's been softened, I'm going to be adding one cup of pumpkin puree. This is just canned pumpkin. Uh, it's not the pumpkin pie one. This has absolutely no sugar or spices in it. And we're also going to be giving this a quick mix. So now I'm going to be adding my spices. Two teaspoons of cinnamon, one teaspoon of nutmeg, one teaspoon of ginger, and one teaspoon of allspice. So I have all of these spices in here, and I essentially created my own pumpkin spice mix, you can say. And I'm going to be adding that right to the stand mixer. Now with all of these spices combined, we now have scraped down the sides of the bowl, gave it a quick whip, and now we are going to be adding our sugar. Two to two and a half cups of icing sugar. What I'm going to be doing is adding half a cup at a time until I've reached the desired amount of sugar. I'm giving it a quick whip. It is all by taste, so maybe when you get to the two cup range, taste it, and if it's sweet enough, you can stop there. If you want another half a cup, by all means, go right ahead. So this is great. This is, of course, my pumpkin spice and mascarpone filling that will be perfect in these donuts. So what I'm going to do is cover this with a plastic wrap and put it in the fridge until I'm ready to use it. Of course, right before I use it, I'm going to put it inside a piping bag, and that will be how I'm going to be filling these bombalones. Okay, so about close to two hours later, our dough has finished proofing. Just gonna give this just a quick work for a couple seconds, honestly, just to form it into a ball. That way I can begin rolling. Our flour on top, and we are just going to roll out the dough to be about an inch thick. Mm. I honestly love the way this smells. You can already smell that yeast. It smells like fresh dough, one of the best smells ever. Okay, so now that we have rolled out our dough, it took no time at all because it's so soft, I have this little round cookie cutter. You can even use the back of a glass. This is basically a little bit over three inches in diameter. So what we wanna do is carefully cut out some shapes here. <laughs> And now we are going to place this in a baking tray that has a high wall. And stay as close as you can because if we do re-roll this dough, we only want to roll it again one more time. Now these are going to have to rise a second time, so that is why I'm leaving some space in between. These are quite thick. You can of course roll them to be thinner if you'd like to have a dozen. I have basically eight donuts here. <laughs> so now that I have my eight rolled and cut bomboloni here, I'm going to cover them with plastic wrap and place them inside my oven because that seems to be the warmest spot of my house right now. And I'm going to let them proof for another 30 minutes. So as the donuts or bomboloni are rising, I'm going to be cleaning up and setting up our fry station as well as making the cinnamon sugar that we are going to be dipping the donuts in. So right now what I'm doing is setting up my fry station. I have the oil in a pan ready to reach 170 degrees. So that will take maybe like 10 to 15 minutes for that to get to 170 degrees Celsius. Of course, you might have to take your oil on and off the heat or keep it on a super low heat once it does reach 170 because we don't want it to dip too low or to get too high. Now, as the oil is going, I set up a fry station of basically just paper towels or napkins on the pan here and here. So we have a whole little fry station going up, but first we need to make the cinnamon sugar. So what I have here is one cup of sugar, 
one tablespoon of cinnamon, and half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm just going to be adding these ingredients to my bowl and giving this a quick mix. And it's that easy. We have a beautiful cinnamon sugar to dunk these donuts in after they are done frying. So now that my oil has reached 170, I am now ready to fry these donuts. They have finished proofing after 30 minutes. With this oil, we want it to be at least one third of the way up the pan. That way there is enough room for these bomboloni to fry in the oil. Of course, they stick to the top, so you don't have to worry about filling a pot up all the way up with oil. They're not going to sink them to the bottom. They're going to basically float on the top as they cook, and they will need three minutes per side or until they are golden brown. When I take them out, I'll usually fry two at a time. I'll take them out and then I'm going to pop in the next two. After those have been draining for a couple seconds, I'm going to dip them in this cinnamon sugar mix, plop them in here while they're still warm, coat them in the cinnamon sugar, and then leave them there to cool off before we can fill them. So I'm back and look how beautiful these bomboloni are. They are absolutely stunning. So what we are going to do now that they have cooled off and they've all finished frying is poke a little hole in one end. You can of course use a knife or anything. I actually just have this wooden chopstick. You don't want to go too deep and maybe like halfway in. You're just making room for the piping bag because we are going to be piping them on the side. So let's do that for each bombolone. Now what we are going to be doing is going right through that hole and piping these up. So popping that in and filling these bombolone until they feel stuffed. Okay guys, I finished making these bomboloni. They look absolutely beautiful. They are filled with this mascarpone pumpkin spice filling. Now these feel so pillowy and soft. I'm so excited to take a bite of this. So here we go. Mmm, wow. <laughs> that filling complements perfectly this beautiful stuffed bomboloni donut. They're so fluffy yet they still have that perfect delicious yeasty flavor. The nice cinnamon sugar complements the filling perfectly so they really truly feel like a pumpkin spice donut. As always I will have a recipe on my blog ladolcelisa.com so you can find the ingredients and the written directions on there so please check that out. So I really hope you guys give these bomboloni a try. They're absolutely delicious and I know you will love them. They're perfect for this fall or autumn season that we have going on here and they will make a great addition to a Thanksgiving table as well. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Happy baking!